Hello everybody, the day many of us have been waiting for, Tesla beta button for full self-driving. Pretty exciting stuff. A lot of the beta testers for the uh, full self-driving been trying it for several months and now finally all of us, or at least many of us who have paid for full self-driving get an opportunity to opt in to try to get that full self-driving beta. So I just downloaded the new software version 2021, 32.22. Let's check it out here. And again, for those of you kind of on the fence about Tesla full self-driving, obviously there's a lot of uh, acclamations and uh, positivity about it. There, it's not perfect. You still have to keep your close eye on it. But at any rate, here's what, uh, what you do. After getting the software, if you've already paid for full self-driving, uh, request the full self-driving beta. This is from what we understand a seven day trial period where they kind of watch your driving style. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, controls and autopilot is what we want to go to. So I'll go back over to controls and there's autopilot right there. Request full self-driving beta. Okay, so let's give it a shot. Here we go, limited access early full self-driving beta. Thank you for your interest in limited early access. Once you accept the terms below, the Tesla team will analyze your vehicle driving data and safety score to determine eligibility. You can view your safety score from the Tesla app at any time, version 4.1 or newer on that app. If eligible, you'll receive a software update as part of the limited early access. Pretty cool stuff. All right, so I can send to the collection and review of ongoing VIN associated vehicle driving data while in force. They're gonna be watching my driving style. I understand that when using full self driving beta, I am responsible for remaining alert with my hands on the wheel and must be prepared to take any action at any time. Full self driving beta does not make my car autonomous. This is the thing, you, you can't go to sleep uh, on the car. Obviously you're, you're paying attention and in some cases more attention, but this is really a precursor of you know what Elon Musk's goal is and hope is with the uh, full self driving and eventually maybe the robo taxi idea where we send our car into the fleet, it makes money for us while we're away or at work. Cool concept, we'll see uh, if it actually comes to fruition. But at any rate, um, let's go ahead and check the yes here. I understand the full self-driving beta can be revoked at any time. So they're gonna keep an eye on your driving style, how much you're paying attention to, how many lockouts you get where it, where it beeps at you and lets you know, hey, um, you need to pay more attention or wiggle the wheel or make sure your hands are on the wheel. Let's go ahead and hit accept. And you are enrolled into full self-driving beta Q. So the Q, uh, doesn't necessarily mean to me that I'm starting the seven day trial right now, but at least uh, we're getting there. So that's all we can do right now. Now the wait continues, but this is as close as we've ever been to actually getting that full self-driving beta button. And of course I will be happy to, um, sorry about the focus here. I'll be happy to keep you posted in what I see. If you have any questions, just shoot them my way. Uh, for now though, pretty exciting times to see what comes out of the full self-driving beta for many of us who've only been able to watch some of those early testers. All right. I hope everybody's having a good day and uh, enjoy. Take care guys.